Hello everybody and welcome back to another top 10. Today I am joined by the Nintendo Master, Doctor of Nintendo 2004, also known as Dan. Hi everyone. The only guidelines for today is that we can only choose one game from each franchise. For example, we can't include Sonic 06 and Sonic Boom. We can only choose one. With that out of the way, let's get started. Yeah, at number 10 is Plumbers Don't Wear Ties. It's just an interactive movie, but it's not even videos. It's just voice covers over still pictures. Some of the choices are stupid, etc. This game is just bad. It was so bad I had it wiped from my memory. This game is just makes no sense. Why? What were the game developers thinking? I don't even remember it. Hey guys, do you remember Fantasia the game? Well, that's basically what Action 51 is set up to be. Whoa, Josh, you actually played that fantasy game? Oh yeah, that was, it was the only game at my friend's house. Oh, I'm so sorry. Anyway, we're getting off topic. This game is just garbage. It feels so much like Bart vs. the Space Beauty. Speaking of... Taj, did you watch The Simpsons when you were younger? Oh yeah, I will not forget that night where me and my family would sit down and watch The Simpsons. Well, Bart vs. The Space Mutants throws 20 years of Simpsons logic out the window. We take control of what is meant to be Bart and spray paint all across town. Taj, you got anything to say? Game is bad, end of story. And another thing! Hey, Mario and Link made their first first steps into 3D. What about Bubsy? Yeah, sounds good on paper, but it wasn't executed well. First, this game is ugly. Second, it was on the most popular console at the time. And lastly, this game just doesn't need to exist. End of story. Coming in at number six is Superman 64. This guy. This game has to be one of the worst Nintendo 64 games ever, and that's a hard challenge. The game was so bad that even SMG4's Mario didn't like it. Dan, I'll let you take this one. First of all, the controls are horrible. Button 1 is to attack, button 2 is everything else. Why it's up on the D-pad jump when it should be button 3? This doesn't even play like Zelda, oh and keep in mind, down on the D-pad in combination with button 2 is the pause, which is also the way you go into a house. Why did they make it the same combination? Oh and oh and the voice acting. We don't speak about the voice acting, it's just trash. I totally agree with you, Dan. Were the cutscenes made in Microsoft Paint? Because damn, they're ugly! Yes, I know, this game is bad, so I'm gonna let Dan take this. Dan? Me again? Okay. The cutscenes are cringy. To complete a level, you have to close all the doors instead of going over to a flagpole. Why? This ain't real life. This game is bad, but I have to give it credit for adding the spaghetti, um, meme. But I'll play the spaghetti meme right now. Spaghetti! Dan, you can take the back seat. I got this one. Okay, you have fun talking about the garbage Sonic game. First things first, this game is glitchy. I cannot go one playthrough without dying and glitching. Oh yeah, an angry video game nerd thought this game was bad. It's like a box of chocolate. You never know what you're gonna get. Oh yeah, and if you die, you go back. Not back to level one, not go back to the town. No, you go back to the opening cutscene. This game has me scarred for life. I hate this game. Okay, to start off, the two humans which either steal a piece of your phone or send you to one spot on the map which you can easily escape from. Also, you're stuck with the time limit which goes down fast when you walk. Also, when you get stuck in holes, it's we just don't talk about that. 
in its own right away. As soon as you get all three phone pieces, you have to find one spot on the entire map to phone home. And then stand on a different spot until the ship comes or not getting caught by the two butt holes. And to think what our older generation grew up with. This, with this, this is just sad. This is almost as bad as games get. But before we get to that, let's just go through one quick dishonorable mention. Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric. Dang it, I wanted to make fun of this one. But me and Dan decided on Sonic 06 because it's a lot more glitchy and it doesn't have as much flaws as um, Sonic Boom. Doubt, doubt, the number one worst video game to ever exist is... They did it! They managed to make a game worse than E.T. It's Fortnite. Do I need to say more? It has microtransactions. It has taken over the internet. It's wasted all my time as a joke. I don't want it back. Criticism is just about improving your work. Anyway, thanks for joining me, Dan. It was my pleasure, Taj. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.